Hey guys, I'm Adrian from adrianmila.com and today I'm going to show you how to install TC Electronics Power Core on High Sierra. I will also show you what I use in terms of software additionally in order to use the Power Core in Pro Tools HD. But before we do that, if you want to improve your mixes and masters in less than 10 minutes, go ahead and download your cheat sheet here. In the meantime, I'll play my awesome intro. Here I'm using High Sierra and I have the Power Core installer version 4.5.0 B72. So you can install it as usual. Double click on the install and follow the instructions. After the install, go to Launchpad and if you type Power Core, you should be able to find it and check its status. Here we can see the Power Core's name with its available DSPs, the firmware and the device OS. Then here you can check all the included plugins. And here you can see the version I have just installed. There are also some additional settings you can play with in case the power core generates problems working with your DAW. Now if you got a power core you might know that it is a discontinued platform like the TC Electronics System 6000. Furthermore, the plugins on this platform are 32 bits. Therefore, if you have a 64 bit digital workstation like I do, you'll need a wrapper, which will help you to convert these plugins or rather help you use them in your 64 bit DAW. Back in the days, to solve this problem, I used JBridge. Nowadays, I use 32 leaves from Sound Radix. If you have 32 leaves, launch it and it will scan all of your VSTs. And here I got a message which is not that important. So here we have all the 32-bit plugins, mainly from Power Core. Now the cool part is that you can use 32 leaves to resurrect, as they call it, individual plugins or all of them in one shot. For this demonstration, I'm going to resurrect all of them. You'll be asked to enter your password and then you'll have to restart the system. When you get back, 32 leaves will scan your VSTs again. And you can see under the status that all the plugins are now resurrected. You can also open the folder with the wrapped plugins. Now you can use the PowerCore VSTs in your DAW, that is if your DAW accepts VSTs, because Pro Tools doesn't. It accepts AAX plugins format instead. Luckily, there is a way around this. Let's see how to use PowerCore plugins in Pro Tools. As I mentioned, you cannot insert VSTs directly in Pro Tools. To solve this, the guys from Blue Cat Audio created the Patchwork plugin. There may be other plugins on the market designed for this type of job, but I'm showing what I use. Now, if you want to use a PowerCore plugin in Pro Tools, insert the Patchwork from Blue Cat Audio, then load VST. Go to the PowerCore folder and select the resurrected or the wrapped plugin you want to use. And you can see that it works. Also, MD3 took about 44% of the first DSP of the power core, as this is a 48 kHz session. It may take more DSP space in a higher resolution session. If you want to add another plugin, you can repeat the steps I have just mentioned. Let's insert the brick wall limiter, for example. It works. And the DSP got to 75% for both plugins. In case you cannot see an inserted plugin, click on Show Editor and it will appear. There you go, guys. This is how you install TC Electronics Power Core on High Sierra. And by the way, there are people who installed TC Electronics Power Core on newer systems. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, put them in the comments below. Subscribe and until next time. Stay cool and make great music.